The whole country talking. A naked woman behind the wheel of a Maricopa County deputy's truck speeding down the I-8 from Gila Bend to Eloy, where she ended up in the median, shutting down traffic for hours. ABC 15's Melissa Blasius is live in Gila Bend tonight to figure out how all of this went down. Melissa. That's right. It all started right about here at this busy Shell gas station. Lots of witnesses around and they're actually praising the deputy's actions despite the fact a naked woman outmaneuvered him. It ended with the deputy's pickup crashed into the median of I-10, the naked woman taken away on a stretcher. But the beginning was no less dramatic. I said, crazy. I mean, that's it's totally insane. The deputy responding to this Shell gas station just off I-8 for an unusual call on a chilly morning. Because she is completely naked. MCSO officials say the woman claims she had been sexually assaulted just down the road. They have cordoned off an area with sneakers and clothes for investigation. She was distraught. What she actually uttered to him gave further concern. And I think that it's understandable in that condition. His, he didn't want to come and secure the vehicle. Keys in, truck unlocked. Witnesses saw something bad was coming. My brother would say, hey, hey, yeah, the girl going to jump in the truck. But the guy, you don't, you don't hear. So the, the girl jumped in the truck and let's go. Witnesses say the deputy, with the blanket for the woman in hand, tried to get in the driver's side door. Kind of, kind of dragged him a little bit. Maybe a couple feet. Yeah, and then he just... His body hit the ground. And the deputy treated for injuries. He's going to be okay. His truck and the woman in worse shape. Sheriff's officials admitting it's policy to secure their vehicles. That is, in hindsight, being 2020, we'd love to see that. However, on this circumstance, um, compassion towards victims are always our utmost concern. And witnesses agree with that, saying this all went down in seconds and they are just relieved that no one was hurt worse in all of this. Meanwhile, investigators are looking into that sexual assault claim, also into what possible charges the woman might face regarding the chase itself. Coming up at 6, the deputies, in his own words, right after his truck got away. All Back right, to you. Melissa, we'll see you then. Thank you.